what's going on everyone? William from Sinonga here. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Discord of JS Bycoding Tutorial. Today we're going to show you guys how to make uh, command aliases, just like I promised at the end of the previous episode, which was by the time I'm recording this three weeks ago. Anyways, so let's get started right away. So what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need a new collection, um, a Discord collection. Uh, you guys can use a map, but I prefer doing Discord collection because everything here is basically Discord related. And what we need to do is to actually tweak around the message event. So what we need to do is we're going to re redo the way we split arguments. So let, what we're going to do is let args, I'm going to get the message content. And then we're going to go ahead and slice it with the length of the prefix. And then we're going to trim it. And then finally, we're going to basically go ahead and join the rest of the args using the spaces. And now, we don't want the command to be an argument, so we'll just do let cmd is equal to um, args.shift. And then, since we want it to be case insensitive, that means we can use uh, like s something like this, and it still works, so we're going to do dot to lowercase. Now, now, in my case, I will be using dot to lowercase because the name here is lowercase. So let's say you had uh, all your names are like AFK with capital, ban with capital letters. Uh, what you will do, obviously, is just instead of to lowercase, what you do is dot to uh, uppercase. But I'm going to keep mine to dot to lowercase because mine are in lower cases. Then we're going to create a command as a null or undefined variable. Then what we need to do is actually go ahead and uh, get these to be... Um, we just need to go ahead and go ahead and common these two out. Now what we need to do is if bot.commands dot has the CMD then command will equals bot.commands dot get the cmd. Else, if it doesn't, then that means we'll need to do bot.commands dot get bot dot a. So, we're just basically going to need to get one from the aliases, so bot dot aliases, and then dot get, and then the cmd that we typed. So that is if. So, that's that. Then that, that means what we need to do right now is just basically do uh, command dot run and we just run bot message and ox because we're going to need to pass in bot as well because we're going to need the rest uh, to be able to do that here. And so that is pretty much the entire thing done. Now the last thing we need to do is what we need to do is do props dot help dot aliases dot for each and we're gonna need a callback meaning a little bit of an arrow function there of course you can always if you don't want to use arrow function you can always do something like this but I prefer using arrow functions for callbacks because it looks so much better also if you guys don't want to do for each you can go ahead and do something like let I in props dot help dot aliases and use a for in loop um, but I prefer using a for each loop because it's simpler anyways so now what we're going to do here is bot dot aliases and dot set I'm going to set the alias inside props dot help dot name and we're good we're practically done here now if we start the bot now we will get an error as you can see we have a cannot read property for each of undefined because we need we never defined aliases in any of this here. So basically, we're just going to go ahead and set empty arrays, empty arrays like so. Uh, you know what? Let's just go and copy and paste because it's just getting annoying now. So let's do that. Right. Now what we get here is we're going to use tutorial as a way to uh, show you guys that it works. First, if we do not, uh, we, if we go ahead and start the bot now, uh, you can see we're no longer the error. But we're going to go ahead and stop the bot real quick. 
And to set aliases, you basically do the same as you would in an array. So, for example, I want tut as a as, as an alias, we just simply put tut there. But if we want multiple aliases, we just separate them by commas. Um, we get world and we get hello world and all that. And these are basically all my aliases and tutorial also should work. Now, if we go into the bot, go to here, and if we do tutorial, spelled it wrong, it should return hello world. And So, let's see here. Let's see what the error is. Um, Rx measure the content and we'll slice prefix.link. And that's split, sorry. We need to split them using spaces. So now if we start the bot again, and tutorial should work now. Cannot read the property of starts with. Where is that coming from? Uh, it's this. Okay, we need to put this to CMD instead of command. No, actually, uh, what we do is let's do message the content instead. Basically, if the message the content does not, if the message doesn't even start with the prefix, that means we just simply go ahead and return the code, and it should uh, work so like that. And prefix there. So good. Now we we'll just go ahead and reset the button. Okay, all the errors should be gone now. I completely forgot to change that, but. Let's just do a tutorial, and there we go. To Hello World works, and if we do something like tut, which is also an alias, and that also works. If we do something like uh, Hello World, which was also in our um, aliases array, it should also work. And if we type anything else, we get an error because what we need to do is we need to make sure that. Well, it doesn't exist in here, and also doesn't exist in here. So what we need to do here is we're going to do and said say if command does not equals to null, then run it. Otherwise, just basically do nothing. Um, in theory, this should work. And if we go ahead and do this now, there you go. Nothing happened. So you just make sure you just go ahead and check if command is undefined or not. If it is undefined, do nothing. If it's not undefined and it does have a value, run it. And that is basically what it's saying. And there you go. And now we got ourselves our command aliases. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make event handlers. And it should be a really quick video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if you want more tutorial and want to follow how to do more things in the future, make sure to subscribe. I'll try to, I'll try my best to make as many videos as I can. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.